Namaste Goa Flowers. I am Anita Goa. For those of you who might be new to me and my channel, welcome. Today I offer number eight in my morning series I call Stiff in the Morning. This one I title Get Up and Go. It's all about getting up, getting onto the yoga mat, connecting into the breath, getting the prana flowing and just connecting into our highest potential so that that can carry us through for the rest of the day. I hope that you enjoy this practice. Please let me know in the comment box below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. So are you ready? Let's go. The tools that I'm integrating into this practice is a yoga block, a blanket, but you can use a towel, and a bolster. Use what it is that you have, integrate it accordingly, and uh, just try the practice once to see what it is that you need. So we're going to begin in a child's pose. So your legs can be together or they can be apart. I'm choosing to keep my legs apart today. Then descend it forward, feeling like you're creating a little bit more space in your torso, and then rest your forehead on the floor. You can also rest your forehead on a block but, and also a blanket. Then bend the elbows and palms together like a namaste or atmanjali mudra. And let your hips drop back. Close your eyes and your mouth. And just tune yourself into your breath. So if you're practicing early in the morning, you probably haven't had too much stimulation from the external world. So just really take advantage of this to tune yourself in to your own internal world. Fill yourself up with breath. So really take advantage of your breathing. Use the ujjayi breathing. So deeply inhale, draw the breath in through the back of the throat and completely exhale. So just visualize yourself, just filling yourself up with prana filling yourself up with strength, just filling yourself up with joy, with ease, filling yourself up with whatever it is that you feel you need to fill yourself up with today. And then gradually start to come up out of it into a tabletop position. So arms are shoulder distance, legs are hip distance apart. And exhale, round it into cat stretch. Drop your head and shake it loose a little bit. Inhale, arch it into cow, curl the toes under. Exhale again, round it into cat. Oh, feels so good. Inhale, arch it into cow. One more time, exhale, round it into cat. And inhale, arch it into cow. Come back into tabletop position. Draw up into the lower belly. Feel like you're puffing up your upper back a little bit and keeping your shoulders stable. Draw the knees in just a little bit. Then extend the right leg out. And we're going to do some hip circles. So we're going to draw the knee into the navel, open the leg out to the side, and then make a little corner, turn, and then continue on. So making as big of a circle as you can, as you're keeping your breathing moving in and out. Try to stabilize the shoulders. Good, and then go in the other direction. So this is strengthening for the hips, but it also lubricates the hips, prepares them for what's to come. And it also is good for the range of motion. Good, just one more time. Then extend the leg out again, and then exhale, draw the nose and the knee together. And inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. And inhale, extend. 
Curl the left toes under, draw up into the abdominals, press with the arms, and slowly be mindful of that left knee, go into a three-legged down dog. Then exhale, draw the knee into the navel, round again, lift up, and step the right foot forward. Come on to your fingertips. You can also place your hands on blocks, roll the shoulders open. So find the full extension from your left heel to the crown of the head. Nothing like starting off the day with a full extension. <laughs> Take a little dip down and step the left foot forward. Inhale to halfway pose. And then exhale, fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to. And then inhale, rise and all the way to the top. Root down, drawing through the lower belly. Lift through the heart and reach it up. And then as you fold, palms together, touch your Ajna Chakra, center for intuition, inner knowledge, and then your heart, center for unconditional love and compassion. Fold it in. Inhale, halfway. And then exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, step the left foot back. And then exhale, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin into the floor. And try to melt your heart into the floor. Inhale to baby cobra or lift to upward facing dog. And then exhale, round it into cat stretch. Draw it in. And inhale, arch it into cow. Curl the toes under. And then come back into tabletop position. Good. And draw the knees maybe a little bit closer together. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. Extend the left leg out, flex the foot. And then draw the knee into the navel and open. Make as big of a circle as you can. It's not quite a circle, perhaps. It's like a pea circle. <laughs> and keep breathing. And notice how this left hip feels. Now you'll feel quite a lot of engagement through the abdomen and even through the arms. Good, and then in, in the other direction. Circle it around. Let's try to look down and just let the leg do the work so you can feel it. Right? We don't have to see it when we can feel it. And then extend the leg out. Hold it. Exhale. Draw the nose and the knee together. Inhale. Extend. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Hold it. Curl the right toes under. Draw up. Be mindful of that right knee as you press the floor away from you to three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the knee into the navel. Round up and step the left foot forward. Come on to your fingertips again. Hold it. Use your blocks. Find that full extension from the right heel to the crown of your head. Good. Take a little dip down and step the right foot forward. Inhale halfway and exhale again. Fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale. Rise. Root down. Draw in. Really reach up. Ah, that feels so good. And then exhale as you fold, touch the Ajna Chakra and the Anahata Chakra and fold. Inhale halfway, exhale left foot back, inhale right foot back to plank and exhale knees, chest and chin. Inhale baby cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale it to cat again. Just really getting into the spine there. Inhale, arch it to cow. Curl the toes under. And then exhale, draw the hips back and downward facing dog. Yay! Just pedal a little bit through the feet. Just gradually get into the calves into the hamstrings and then move the hips a little bit side to side. Yeah, shake that bootay out. Nothing like shaking the bootay out early in the morning. <laughs> and then inhale, lift the right leg to three-legged dog again. Exhale, draw the knee into the navel and step it forward. 
to a low lunge. Roll the shoulders open. Then inhale, twist it open to the right. Reach the right arm to the ceiling. And then exhale, right forearm to the thigh. Pivot the left heel in, extended side angle. Reach that left arm up and over the left ear. Roll the shoulders down into their sockets. Roll the navel and the heart up towards the sky. Then inhale it up to warrior two. Exhale it there. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Straighten out that right leg. And then exhale, cartwheel, ground the left palm to the floor. Pivot that left heel off and reach the right arm to the ceiling. Stay here or feel free to turn the feet, turning to the outer edges of your feet so that your toes face to the side to your right. Stay here or feel free to take it into any variation of a side plank Oops, that you want. You can also extend that leg up as much as you want. Yeah? And if it feels good to bring the leg behind you and just lift it up into a wild thing, yeah, starting off a little wild, go for it. Then inhale it to plank pose. Take your time and exhale either knees, chest, chin, or to a chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog or baby cobra. Exhale to cat stretch. Inhale to cow pose. And exhale, draw the hips back, downward facing dog. Yeah, baby, beautiful. Inhale, lift the left leg to three-legged. Exhale, draw the knee to the navel. Step it forward. Roll the shoulders open. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Twist it open. And then exhale, extended side angle. Forearm to the thigh. Pivot that right heel in. Reach the right arm up and over the right ear. Hold it here. Lift out of your shoulders. Roll the navel and a heart up towards the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale it to warrior two and exhale it there. Inhale reverse and then exhale cartwheel ground the right palm to the floor. Twist it open to the left again. Stay here or turn the feet so that you're turning to the outer edges of the feet. So your toes now facing the left and you can reach that left arm over the left ear. Good, you can stay here or you can take it into any side plank variation that you want. Good, see how you can stretch your edge, right? Nothing like doing that on the mat. And then we can stretch it off of the mat and if you can find that wild thing, go for it. Open yourself up to the day. Ah. Inhale to plank pose. Take your time. Exhale either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog or baby cobra. And one more time, exhale to cat stretch. The arms are a little bit further in front of the shoulders. Inhale, arch it to cow. And then exhale to child's pose. And exhale to downward facing dog. Good, one more time, inhale, lift the right leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee to the navel and step it forward. This time inhale, rise up, straighten out the front leg. And then exhale, bend the knee, and then you're going to twist it to the right. Roll the shoulders open. Go do that again. Inhale, rise. And exhale, twist. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, lower the hands to the floor. Inhale, lift the right leg to three-legged dog. 
Exhale, draw the knee into the navel and gently slide your leg into a pigeon position. But you're not going to stay there. Just keep the arm shoulder distance. Press back into the left heel. Then inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee into the navel. Gently slide it in to pigeon pose. Good, one more time. Inhale it up. And exhale. Slide it in. Good. Inhale it up. And then exhale, draw the knee into the navel, step it forward. Inhale the left foot forward, halfway pose. Exhale, fold it. Inhale, bend the knees, fierce pose. And then exhale, namaste. Good. Inhale, fierce pose. Stay there, exhale, bring the arms down and behind your back, right index finger on top of the left. Inhale, lift your chest, stretch the arms away. And then exhale, hinge it forward. Inhale, back up, all the way up. And then exhale, fold, touch Ajna Anahata as you fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, the left foot back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog, or baby cobra. Exhale, cat stretch. Inhale, cow. Exhale, draw your hips back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, lift the left leg to three-legged. Exhale, knee to the navel, round and step it forward. Then inhale, rise to crescent lunge. Straighten out the front leg. And then exhale, bend the knee and twist it open to the left. Good. Do that again. Inhale, rise. And exhale, twist. Inhale, rise. And exhale, twist. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, bend the leg, hands to the floor. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the knee into the navel, round, slide it into a pigeon pose. Keep the back leg lifted, roll the shoulders open. And inhale it back to three-legged. Do that again, exhale. So you'll feel a lot of arm and ab integration here. Inhale, and last one. Inhale, good. Exhale, knee to the navel, round and step it forward. Inhale, right foot forward, halfway pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, fierce pose. And exhale, namaste. Okay, last one, inhale, fierce pose. Exhale, bring the arms down and behind your back. Left index finger on top. Inhale, lift the chest, pin the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, hinge it forward. Inhale, rise. Reach it up. And then exhale as you fold. Touch Ajna, Anahata, and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, left foot back. Inhale, right foot back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Yogi's choice. Inhale, baby cobra, or upward facing dog. And exhale, cat stretch. Yeah, last one. Inhale, archer to cow. And then exhale, sit back into child's pose again. 
but this time keep the toes curled under. Rest your forehead on the floor. Just bend the elbows. Drop your shoulders down and feel that your hips are drawing back into the heels just like in the beginning, but also that weight is drawing into your feet. So stretching your toes, stretching the fascia of your feet, stretching your Achilles and deep into your calves. But breathe fully into your lower back. And just feel free to wiggle your hips a little bit side to side and notice if there's a little bit more space now in your torso and your tricep and your shoulders. Good, and then gradually straighten out the arms. Look forward and go into downward facing dog. Yeah, so good. And then just inhale, lift the right leg to three-legged dog and step that right foot forward. Come on to your fingertips, take a little dip down and draw the left knee to the outside of the right thigh. And you're going to sit down for a seated spinal twist. So level off your sitting bones, draw your right leg as close to your chest as you can, wrap the left arm around your thigh and twist it open to the right. If you can take this further, if it's okay, this early in the morning, work the arm to the outside of the thigh, or go ahead and bind. If that's happening organically, just go for it. Just see how you can stretch your edge while maintaining your breath. Fully inhale, completely exhale. Good. Then gradually release it and just do an open twist. Yeah, I feel so good. And then face it forward and then lean it back. Balance between the sitting bones and the tailbone. Keep your legs bent or straight. Support your hands behind your thighs or extend the arms out in front of you. Drop the shoulders down. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, good. Then change your leg position, bend your right leg in, cross the left foot to the outside of the thigh, level off your seat and draw the left leg as close into your chest as you can. Wrap the right arm around your thigh and gently twist it open to the left. If you can work it further to the outside, go for it. And if you can bind, go for it. All right, but just feel the connection to your breath. Make sure that you can breathe in as fully as you can. Exhale as completely as you can. Good, then gradually release and do an open twist and face forward Then lean back again, balance between the sitting bones and tailbone, find that boat pose, yeah, row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. So just finding the firmness, the steadiness within you. Staying connected to the breath, keep your focal point, keep your eye on the prize, and then just notice now that there's a lot of wiggle room, a lot of wiggle room. If you want to take it a little bit further down, go a little bit further down, really squeeze your thighs together, squeeze the bottom of the buttocks, find that extension in your legs, round in. Take the tension out of your neck, breathe fully. Not so easy to breathe fully here, but breathe as fully as you can. And then draw it in and release it down. Yay! So good. Now you're going to take your uh, block and you're also going to take your blanket. So it's important that you fold your blanket in three, basically. And we're going to drape this blanket over the block. So our head is going to be on the block. 
Our torso is going to be on the blanket and our bum is basically going to be here. We're going to use the bolster for the legs. So we have a nice little restorative position here, but we also have an, a back bend, a restorative back bend. So just play around with it a little bit. Keep your eyes closed, your mouth closed. Turn your palms to face up to the ceiling. Keep the arms a little bit away from your body. But equally, if you want to keep one hand on your belly, another hand on your heart, feel free to do so. So that was a fairly simple flow, but moving flow where we connected into our breath, into ourselves got the prana flowing. Not too much stretching. I hope it made you feel good. Then we end off with a little lift in a heart. This is one of my new favorite poses that I learned from Anna Taylor. And you will experience Anna Taylor here on this channel in a restorative yoga flow, so look out for that one. Just take a few moments to let the practice come together in whichever way it needs to or has to for you. Continue to stay with your breath. And for the rest of the day, pause every now and then to check in with your breath. As you keep going, as you keep flowing, as you keep ticking off your to-do list, you continue to feel grounded and supported, nourished and focused and staying present in the moment. Stay for as long as you want to. If you're ready to come out of it, just wiggle your toes and your fingers. Gradually draw your legs together. Lift one leg at a time and then draw your knees into your chest and give yourself a good hug. Stretch the lower back a little bit. Let the shoulders roll back. We didn't do a whole lot of forward bends except for the standing forward bends. And lift your head and kiss your knees. Send them air kisses. Thank them for their support. Give gratitude to yourself for getting up this morning to practice yoga, mind over matter. Give gratitude to anyone that you are grateful for, anything that you are grateful for. Starting off your day with an attitude of gratitude turns everything around into what you have is enough instead of striving towards getting more. Now roll over to your side. Come up to a seated position. And just cross your legs into an easy seat. Inhale, sweep the arms to the side and up. And then exhale, palms together, touch your Ajna Chakra. Just trust yourself, trust your intuition. Draw your hands to your Anahata Chakra. Practice having compassion towards yourself so that you can extend that out into the world. Enjoy your chin into your chest. Bow down into the highest within yourself. Whenever you think that you can't do something, know that you are operating from your lower mind and see if you can access your higher mind and train yourself to draw into it 
that is that area that says, yes, of course you can. Yes, of course I can. Of course I can. Namaste. Reach your arms up. Victory, victory, victory. We are already up. Get out there and go. Show them what you got and enjoy your day. Mwah. Bye. I love you. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments.